Okay, here we look at question number three. Now this is with the calculator. So look again, we're given a table of values. So tabular view here. Okay, um, given lots of facts this problem, I would definitely underline things that are important. So first of all, the radius of 12 feet, that's constant, and a height of four. So we can see that clearly labeled here. So radius, height. We know we're gonna use this, right? Okay. Um, now the pool contains a thousand cube of water at time t equals zero. So t equals zero, there is a thousand, is it feet? A thousand cubic feet. Okay. Initial value, very important. And then a closed interval, zero to 12, water is being pumped into the pool. So it's going in um, cubic feet per hour. The table gives P of T. So pumped in. So that is going in and a positive, okay? Now, during the same time interval, water, rolls, water is leaking out from the pool at R of T. So this is being removed, okay? Now, also realizing that these are both rate of change, okay? So this is feet per hour, and this is feet per hour. So we want to make sure we realize those are rates that we're given. Okay, now we're ready to answer the first problem. Use midpoint Riemann sum with three subintervals of equal length to approximate the total amount of water. Okay, midpoint Riemann sum, three equal length. There's one, two, three. So midpoint Riemann sum, then, you're going to take the mid number, right? So those are my three mid numbers. Now look at the changes from zero to four. So you can see here, then, so we're finding the amount of water Okay, being pumped into the pool. So that's why we went 46 times 4, 57 times 4, and then 62 times 4. And that's 660 feet cubed. Okay, so that would be the answer. Notice you get one for the setup and one for the answer. Next is calculate the total amount of water that leaked out of the pool. Now here we're not given a table, but we're given a function. So to find the total amount, you take the integral of the rate of change. Now this is just a matter of putting that into your calculator correctly. Now remember also, whenever we use calculators, we always at the very end round it off to three decimal places. So this is how much is being removed. So removing, okay? And this is being pumped in. Okay, so you can see more is being pumped up in than being removed, which is a good thing. Okay, C, use the results from part A and B to approximate the volume of water in the pool at the time T equals 12 hours. So the amount of pool, amount of water in the pool at 12 hours, okay? So in order to do that, we're going to take the amount pumped in, okay, minus the amount removed, right? Then we have to remember, though, that we started off with a thousand cubic feet of pool of water in the pool. So this is what we started with, this is what we added, and then this is what we took out. Now some of these values we've already figured out, right? Because we already know that this is 660, and then we already know that this is 225.594. Just one moment, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now. So you can see when we evaluate this expression, we end up with 1434.406. Now, make sure you read the directions real quick because it said round to the nearest foot. So then the nearest foot would be 1434 feet cubed. Now this is only worth one point, okay? So we've earned five, so we've got four more to go. The last part says find the rate at which the volume of the water of the pool is increasing at t equals 8. So let's do that first. The rate at which it's increasing. So we need to find the velocity of the rate. Well, we look at the rate at which it's coming in and then take away the rate at which it's leaving. Okay, and so we're going to use 8. Is that what it is? Yes, 8. So you can see here the work. So P of 8 minus R of 8. Okay, you're going to use 60 from the table, and then you're going to substitute the function into the rate function there, 
and then you get the answer is 43.241. Now that's rate, so it's feet cubed per hour. Okay, so that's worth one point right there. Now the second part, how fast is the water level in the pool rising? So we're talking about the height. How is the height rising? Now there's one fact that they've given us that we haven't used yet, and that's the volume function. So they tell us that volume equals pi r squared height. So we want to find out what is the rate of change of height in respect to time. Now, so this is a related rates problem where I'm going to take the derivative of the function in respect to time. But before I do that, is there any constants I can put in? Well, yes, the radius. Remember, we're told the radius is 12, and that's not changing. Now, the height of the water is changing, but the radius is not. So 12 squared h, so it's 144 pi. So I want to extend my page here. Here we go. So I get v equals 144 pi times h. Now we take the derivative in respect to time. So it's dv in respect to time equals 144 pi dh dt. And then I go ahead and solve. So I'm going to divide by 144 pi. So you can see then we take this number, 43.241, and we divide it by 141 pi. And we end up with 0 0.095, 0 0.096 and then it's change in feet per hour, okay, because it's the change in height. So notice you get a point for correctly relating V of VDT of DHDT, and then you get a point then for finding the answer, and then you get a point then for units here of feet cubed per hour and units here for feet per hour. And there you have it for this question.